Hello, humans and freaks. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 3 through 5. Let's read that. So it says, Let the husband render to his wife the affection due her, and likewise also the wife to her husband. Okay? Verse 4. The wife does not have authority over her own body, but the husband does. And likewise, see, this is the thing. Likewise, the husband does not have authority over his own body, but the wife does. Mutual. This is mutual, okay? Verse 5. Do not deprive one another except with consent. For a time, you have to mutually consent, okay? If you're going to be apart for a time. That you may give yourselves to fasting and prayer and come together again so that Satan does not tempt you because of your lack of self-control. So another thing to note right here. (laughs) The only times in your marriage that you and your spouse should not be having regular sex, sex regularly, is when? Right here. Verse 5. Do not deprive one another except with consent for a time that you may give yourselves to fasting and prayer. So, I want to talk about this, okay? It's Valentine's Day weekend, right? I'm speaking to specifically Christian married couples. No other couple does this apply to at all. Only Christian married couples. One man, one woman under Christ in marriage. That's who I'm talking to. So the rest of y'all, I love you, but this does not apply to you. Okay? It just needs to be said. I've been a Christian for about 18 years now. Talked to a lot of guys, men, over the years. And when men truly let their guards down and open up and talk and speak. (laughs) Yeah, when does that happen, right? Oh, man, I love you. I love you. I love you. But, um, you know. Women are, women are much better, obviously, at, um, I think, usually opening up and communicating uh, things. Um, but this needs to be said. If you are a Christian woman and you are married to a Christian man or just a man, period, but let's let's keep it. Christian man, Christian woman, okay? Because this happens in marriage way more than people think or know. Some of you Christian pastors may know more, obviously, because you have, you know, one-on-one counseling sessions with people and married counseling sessions, right? With, With the husband and the wife there together. But, and this happens in the unbelieving world too. The topic that I want to zero in on is sexless, sexless marriages. They exist. And you guys can look, look this stuff up. But it's very, very sad, very, very dangerous, uh, and just sinful. Bottom line, it's sinful. Okay? So, I'm not saying this has to be some like you know, dictator, like, you know, you know, tyrannical, you're my wife, you're my husband, therefore, give me sex now, like with no, (laughs) with no, you know, romance involved, no, you know, uh, you know, so for example, like, let's say they just walk in the door and you're like, oh, you're my spouse. Now, I want it now. Boom. Like, 
No, that's not what we're talking about here. This isn't some freaking, you know, like army drill sergeant like type of thing. It's it's obviously with love, right? And 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 the greater context here. But bottom line is this: there's there's divorced uh, people out there where, let's say, for example. Because I, I really want to defend the men here, okay? And I defend the women as well. But in this particular scenario, I'm going to defend the men out there. And I don't think men are defended enough uh, in the church and just in this world. Like, look at, look, at, look at all this crap, you know? Everything's about bashing men these days. It's freaking stupid. It's crazy. It's dumb. But let me say this. If you are a Christian wife and you're depriving your husband, your Christian husband of sex and he winds up cheating and having sex with, look, I'm not excusing that. That is wrong. But what was your part in that? Like, what did you think was going to happen? You're not, you're depriving him of sex for months, years, sometimes even. Dude, this is insane. Like, that's just crazy. So... It doesn't excuse his behavior, but you got to own your part as well. And then let's flip it. So I've known, heard of husbands. You're not giving your wife sex. And she cheats with a guy. Again, she's wrong in the cheating, but (laughs) look at your part in that. So um, this isn't talked about a lot in churches, um, just in general in in the world we live in. But sexless marriages... And I'm defining sexless as not ever, but like, let's say months go by. And for sure, if years go by, something's wrong. Address the problem because it's all going to just end soon. So anyway, quick message there. First Corinthians chapter seven, uh, read verses three through five. But guys, stop doing this to your spouse. Stop doing this. Yes, marriages end for a variety of reasons, but this is one area that is not talked about enough. Okay? All right. So, if you're a Christian married man and woman, and you've been experiencing this in your marriage, let this weekend be a time to break that curse. All right. God bless. (laughs)